I was not planning to make a video like this, but I think that it's so important to say this and I know that someone can benefit. So today we're going to be talking about common Christian advice that is given to couples or usually women when they're in a relationship and they're going through some kind of struggle and they want to work on fixing that relationship and maybe their partner is not willing to accept that there are issues. I understand the dilemma that you're under because a lot of Christian teaching talks about being humble and being a good wife, being a servant, um, respecting your husband and things like that. But when things are fundamentally wrong with the way that your husband does things in the relationship or maybe with your marriage as a whole, it is really hard to stick to that advice. And sometimes it can be really harmful for that relationship in the future if you actually do follow through with the common advice. The first advice that we all hear as Christians is that you should pray for your husband, pray for your marriage. And this is great and everything, but it's the same thing as acts without deeds, right? If you believe that you're going to get something, but you don't do anything to actually get it, you can't. Nothing is going to happen. And I honestly, I know some women that have been praying for their need for 20 plus years and nothing has changed with their husband. They've just kind of held themselves back. And I think that it kind of shatters their own faith after a while as well. The second thing that we hear a lot is that you need to humble yourself. Keep humbling, humble yourself, respect your husband, and be a good little wifey, sit back, do everything he wants you to do, and somehow that is going to make you more virtuous, that is going to help you. The truth is, in this day and age, a lot of men, especially with a religious background, they kind of abuse this, and it does not benefit you to keep yourself small in these kind of situations. And I can give you some scriptures that I will probably have here, that talk about not being completely open with your spouse or your partner. The Bible also talks about being pure as a dove and also having wisdom like a snake. I think much of Christianity has become a cult and I don't say that lightly because I do believe in the faith and I have seen quite a few relationships deal with issues and to me it's really sad how they do things wrong when it could be done differently. We can also take some examples of the women that are written in scripture. I'm not saying that this advice should be the only thing that you listen to and forego everything that you've heard before. I believe that you should weigh everything out. You should view both perspectives. You should consider the things that they tell you normally and also the things that I'm going to tell you. And you should use your own judgment to improve your relationship. I really hope that makes sense. I do not portray myself as being the ideal Christian. I'm not going to tell you that I am without flaws. I'm not going to tell you that my marriage is perfect. But I am going to tell you that I know that you are not getting the full picture if you are just listening to people that keep saying the same advice and it doesn't work. I believe that it requires a lot of wisdom to be able to view all of scripture and apply what should be applied in your relationship versus what you hear in the background. I know that with this video I'm going to ruffle some feathers, but if you do find it helpful, even by a little bit, maybe it's just one phrase that I say, I would really appreciate if you liked this video and considered subscribing to this channel if you want more videos on this topic. This is going to help me understand that there is a need for these discussions and I will talk more about it because there's so much more to say. I just wanted to tackle the main Christian common advice that I hear all the time. So let's take a look at some of the women that are written in the Bible. Let's talk about Esther, for example. When Esther needed to approach the king, she did not do so immediately. And even when she did go to him, looking as beautiful as she possibly could, she still did not tell him the very first time that she invited him to the feast. It took her some time, and it was only on the second time that she called them to a banquet where she actually told them what she wanted. If you take that story as wisdom, you'll understand that sometimes just being upfront and saying things as they are 
isn't always the best way forward. Sometimes you do need to have a little wisdom and you need to help increase your likelihood of receiving the result you want by influencing the things that you do have control over in your life. For example, if you want to talk about an issue with your spouse, sometimes it is better to use a gentler voice. Sometimes it is good to do things a little bit differently. And you can take whatever you want from this story, but I believe that there's more to it and there's a lot more wisdom that is kind of hard to see if you're just reading it as it is written without paying attention to the details and the possible thought processes that were going on when this event occurred. The second person I want to bring up is Abigail, and Abigail is famous for becoming one of David's brides, King David, but the way that they met, under which circumstances we saw her wisdom, was in defiance of her husband. And I'm not saying that now you should go defy your husband and go lead the family and seek to be him and all this, try to lead and leave him for nothing, disregard everything he is, because that is not what the Bible teaches. So please take everything that I say with a grain of salt. And I know that if you are actually listening to hear the wisdom in these words, you will. And if you're looking for a reason to complain or say how I'm doing something completely wrong by talking about this, you will do that also. Abigail understood that if her husband did not comply, they were all going to die. Not just her and him, but everybody that worked there for them, their servants, their animals, they were going to die. So she did the thing that a wise woman would do, and she went and begged King David to spare them and brought them what he originally asked for, which was food. And he liked this about her. He saw that she had wisdom, and later she became his bride. My point is this, ladies, everything that you hear commonly that is being told to you, it is only half of the actual picture. There are so many things that you can actually do when you feel like there there aren't, when you feel like there is literally nothing I can do, it's just all in God's hands, He can change His heart. Believe me, I promise you, you might not just see it right now because you've never dealt with something like this before, but a lot more is within your control than you think there is. And sometimes being super naive and too pure of a heart and trying to just be the good girl, understand everybody's perspective, do what you're told, sometimes that's not the right path. And I would even argue that that's not the Christian way of handling that particular situation. If I said something that was incorrect to your understanding, you can always leave me a comment. I do read all of the comments. I want to also let you know that I will be doing a program very soon that is going to help you and women like you in your relationship to get out of the dilemma that you're in, um, to improve the things that you don't like about your relationship. I promise you that there is something that you can do and I want to do my best to actually help guide you through it. The program is not available yet. It will be on November, I believe, 17th um, with a very special promo. So if you want to receive that, make sure that you are on the waitlist, which is all in the description box below. Make sure you register to be on the waitlist to be the first one there to get the best possible deal on this and actually see something improve in your relationship. If you have any questions for me, you can either leave them down below or message me on my Instagram. Thank you so much for watching. I want to wish you all of the blessings and all the love that your relationship can have and for you to get them as soon as possible.